Okay, how's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got a good show coming on for you tonight. Just getting everything set up here. Had to grab a coffee. Keep myself awake. <laughs> Get started. Okay. Cool. Tonight we have our storyboard jam session. Looking forward to hanging out with you good friends out there on YouTube. How's everybody doing? If you're uh, just joining the chat, put your name in the chat. like to know who's hanging out with us tonight. And if you're joining, appreciate you. I want to make sure everything's going okay and we can hear everything. Sounds like we are. Okay. Let me sort of see how we're doing here. Hope everybody's having a good night. Hey, Zach, how's it going? Glad for you to join. So happy. That's awesome. Cool. If anybody else is out there, drop a line into the live stream. Cool, cool, cool. Wait for a few people to come on board. Hope everybody's doing okay. Just relaxing over here and uh, getting ready for a fun live stream. I love westerns. I don't know about you. Uh, you know, there's a. Our family's been watching westerns for a really, really long time, and I thought it'd be sort of fun today to sort of take on a western and, and do some fun stuff and. You know, uh, just just uh, it would just be fun. I thought it for our jam session tonight, it'd be sort of a cool thing to do, and uh, have some fun. We'll give it a couple minutes here, Zach, and uh, friends out there, and uh, you know, just say hi and just give everybody a couple minutes to jump on, and we'll get started on this cool live stream. So uh, Zach says, uh, "Hey, Paul, good. He's doing well. Cool. How are you? How are things going with you? Yeah, no, everything's going well with me." Uh, it's been a it's been a busy week and uh, just lots going on, man. This this month of April is just like going right through and it's going to come into a close in like two and a half weeks. Man, it's just going by quick. Uh, so so what are you working on now, Zach? What are you been working on? Let me know in the chat and uh, we'll get started over here. Cool. For me, I had a lot of projects going on this week, uh, just uh, trying to figure out the channel and uh, where, where we can go with it and how, how I can be of uh, better help and uh, support to you friends out there, uh, you budding visual storytellers, and uh, see what we can do. So, just doing a lot of uh, drawing today, both traditional. Uh, my Instagram account went down for a little bit and, uh, you know, went, got that back up again so I could see that profile at the uh, Mr. Dot Paul Dot Anjali, uh on Instagram. Finally started posting again, so it was great to be back on uh, Instagram again. So that was pretty cool. Well, cool. Let's see if anybody else is joining on this fun Saturday night. And if you didn't get a chance to join me here on the live stream, uh, I hope you guys are getting the opportunity to watch this on the replay. Well, cool. Let's get started and uh, have a good night and let's kick it off. So good evening, everybody. My name is Paul Anjali and uh, I am a live action storyboard artist uh, and uh, I created this channel uh, to be a resource for you out there, you fellow artists and uh, visual storytellers, storyboard artists, you know, so this is, is pretty much this channel is for artists of all types. Uh, this is for our comic folks, animation, feature film, uh, storyboard artists, and visual storytellers. So if you are somebody new uh, and uh, you've never storyboarded before and you want to learn how to storyboard and uh, learn the craft and art of storyboarding, film language and uh, composition and how to draw, and how to tell your stories, this is a, a great channel for you to learn. Or if you're somebody that's like, hey, listen, I, I'm already got some art chops and uh, I wanna get better at what I'm doing and I wanna level up my work, I wanna get more pro in terms of what, I, uh, what I'm doing and uh, 
want to do a little bit better, um, this also is a channel for you. Or if you're just somebody that's like, hey, listen, I, I want to know what a storyboard artist does. I just like watching people draw uh, while I'm working away on my own sketches and doing stuff. Uh, this is also a channel for you. So consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty easy. Just hit the subscribe button and uh, click that bell notification button. I, I come to you three times a week, so you should be uh, on the notifications getting notified three times a week right now. I'm coming to you Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I uh, have a little bit of different content on um, each of those days uh, for your enjoyment. And... Uh, so on Mondays, I have my uh, storyboard, you know, uh, storyboarding basics. This is uh, Mastering the Basics, How to Storyboard. And uh, we go over on Mondays, uh, you know, for usually around an hour and a half, two hour sessions on how to storyboard and uh, how to, you know, from film language to composition to, um, you know, shot list to how to break down a script to how to make it animatic, how to move the camera in your shots. Um, these are all the fundamental, uh, you know, teachings and lessons and tutorials and techniques of how to storyboard. And then on Thursdays, I think it's super important to uh, sketch. I think uh, as a, any storyboard artist, you need to be sketching all the time. I know Zach is sketching and doing quick drawings and things like that. I think it's super important to, to sketch and have a uh, daily routine where you sketch. You gotta put in the pencil mileage, you gotta put in those pencil reps uh, to get better and better and better and honing in your craft. Because uh, I've, I've been asked by a couple of the um, our, our friends out here on YouTube, hey Paul, how do you balance between uh, storyboards, uh, you know, doing working digital and working uh, traditional? I, I do it all the time. So I, I always have my, my pens uh, ready and uh, ready to go. You know, uh, you know, I'm simply using just a ballpoint pen, a Sharpie, and maybe a grayscale Copic marker. Sometimes I'm using, uh, you know, traditional, you know, mechanical pencil, number two pencil, and a white eraser, you know, to create my storyboards. I, I think it's super important to sketch each and every day. You know, um, like I always say, I always uh, have these sketchbooks all the time. Uh, I use these uh, Canson uh, eight and a half by 11 hardbound sketchbooks. Uh, these are a favorite of mine. Um, and then I will work from there to do all sorts of storyboarding or storytelling, you know, in terms of uh, what I'm working on or if I'm studying something or, you know, whatever I might, I might be doing, whether, you know, I'm just doing uh, just simple cartoon drawings or whatever it is. I think it's super important to have a daily routine and the sketching after hours session is a session that we can hang out, sketch together, and uh, you can build that portfolio, that put in that pencil mileage together. Uh, sometimes I do drawing uh, technical uh, you know, uh, lessons. Maybe I'm drawing anatomy, maybe I'm doing perspective, maybe I'm drawing faces and heads. Uh, you know, or, you know, I, I know I've been asked to do cars and other things like that, but they being able to, to draw anything. You don't know when you're going to sit down with a director or a client and they're going to say, I want to have some palm trees in the corner over here off a skyscraper and it's in the 1920s. Okay, cool. So, you know, you got to be able to draw all these uh, different objects in your storyboards. And then on Saturdays, I am hosting my... Uh, storyboard jam sessions. These are fun sessions where we just sort of jam and hang out and uh, storyboard together. Uh, and I just pick out a topic like tonight's topic is going to be westerns. And uh, we've done everything from horror to car chases to sword fights to, you know, dinosaurs, futuristic. We've done a, a quite a few uh, different, uh, you know, live streams on the jam sessions. They're, they're super fun. I, I'm enjoying them quite a bit, and I enjoy doing the uh, three lessons a week right now. Uh, if you can believe it, we've done 80, this is our 81st live stream. I can't believe we've done 81 live streams. I think it's absolutely blows my mind, 
and uh, for such a short time we're over here we're almost at the uh, we're about six and a half months into this process of uh, starting up the YouTube channel and working together and building this community of like-minded visual storytellers uh, you know my end goal is to uh, share my journey and processes with you and uh, hopefully you can learn and uh, get some great value out of these lessons and so you can go and tell your stories with your unique voice so uh, pretty cool stuff I I'm enjoying it you know uh, it's just I'm so humbled for everybody coming in supporting the channel subscribing you know we're well over a thousand subscribers right now uh, in such a short amount of time we have over like I said this is the 81st live stream most live streams are about two hours it's 160 hours with of enjoyment content for you if you're watching this on the replay i really appreciate you watching this on the replay as well whether if you're live or on the replay you know pick out those topics that will help give you the most value and uh, help you um, get the knowledge you need uh, to be able to tell your stories in your way um, or go ahead and watch it all it's all up to you it's free over here on YouTube uh, and uh, you know uh, it's just exciting to do and I'm happy to do it with you uh, like I said before we got Zach joining us I hope uh, Zach's from Australia the land down under super appreciate you joining in Zach uh, Zach was just I asked him a couple questions earlier he just said uh, putting in my pencil mileage in cool and I thought of a session to cover quick drawing techniques to uh, to draw props. That's a good one. So let me write that one down. Props. Quick draw. Okay. I'll definitely uh, consider that and uh, see if we can put that into the uh, the schema of things, Zach. I, I hope. Uh, yeah, that, that's a cool thing, yeah, because it's usually, you know, we're always asked to draw props all the time, whether it be tables, chairs, houses, cars, interior of cars, interior of houses, you know, uh, jukeboxes, stereo systems, you know, horses, whales, dolphins, you know, but uh, but a lot of the, uh, the, the uh, different items that you need to draw. But if you're just joining in for the first time right now, drop your name in the chat. Say, hey, Polly, how you doing? Um, you know, consider subscribing the channel. If you're enjoying the content that, you know, I'm showing today and demonstrating today, please drop a like and a quick little comment. Uh, when you put a little comment in the uh, YouTube uh, channel for this particular video, it tells the YouTube algorithm, hey, we want to see more work of Polly and, uh, you know, hey, we're learning, you know, let's get this out to uh, more artists out there and uh, gain some more steam with the channel and help it grow. So, um, cool. Uh, Zach, I was going to ask you real quick, what types of drawings are you doing? Are you, are you doing quick drawing techniques right now, props, or um, what, are, what are you drawing with uh, to build your pencil mileage today, my friend? Give it a second here as I take a sip of my coffee. I finally got rid of the Christmas mugs, too. That was good. They got put away for next year. <laughs> so I'll give it a second over here. And then uh, we'll get into our lesson. Give it a second here. Cool. While uh, Zach is commenting uh, over here, let's get into uh, tonight's lesson. Uh, tonight's lesson uh, is we're going to work on a, sort of a, a gunslinger uh, sort of storyboard uh thumbnail tonight uh you know I, i've always loved westerns uh i hope you like westerns too um i've always been a big fan um I, I think for me it's uh the western motif has always been near and dear to my heart uh i grew up in sort of a cowboy type town a little bit and uh being out here in pennsylvania there's a lot of farming and you know a lot of ranches and either got cattle out here or smaller you know farm animals like sheep lots of sheep out here too but lots of cattle out here lots of horses and uh, when I'm driving home uh, from the, uh, the the main downtown here in central Pennsylvania and just it's nice because I'm going through all this farmland and you know here we have the the, the little 
you know, vegetable markets and fruit stands. Apples are big. Corn is big up here in this area. And it's just, it's just interesting to see. And it doesn't matter if it's snowing and you got, you have four really great seasons out, out here and you have, um, just the Western motif, you know, uh, you know, it's, 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 you know, I would compare this to something, you know, uh, to, to, to Montana, Colorado, you know, uh, those, those epic places, you know, not so much deserty, it's more, you know, pine forests over here, and you can see cowboys on the trail, tractors going down the street over here, it's, uh, it's a little bit different than uh, a big city, so I've always liked the, uh, and enjoyed the uh, western motif, uh, I you know uh, my first house in California, we had a Downstairs was all Western. I had my my bull horns to everything, you know, in that uh, in that uh, area, you know, and I really liked that motif as we decorated the house. Uh, and uh, when it comes to Western films, oh boy, you know, you sit there and have the fantasy. Of, it was pretty much all Westerns, you know, uh, in in early film and uh, the epic and the bigger and bigger. You know, you had big films coming out. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, you started off with, you know, films like Tom Mix and, uh, you know, and then you had your, your, your singing cowboys and, and cowboys from Gene Autry to, to others, you know, and, uh, and then you, then you had the Duke, the Duke himself, John Wayne, you know, and, uh, the Duke coming onto the scene and, you know, doing all the movies. I just was it the other night and I just watched, uh, it was Jimmy Stewart, Lee Marvin, and John Wayne in uh, The Man Who Shot uh, Liberty Valance. And, uh, you know, great movie, fun to watch, black and white movie. Uh, you might have watched a lot of the TV shows and stuff like that, whether it be uh, Sheriff Matt Dillon with uh, Gunsmoke. Uh, maybe in Days of Color TV, it was Bonanza, you know, with uh, Michael Landon and others. Uh, Lauren Green and Haas and you know little little John, little Joe and you know uh, all, all the different characters from that. Uh, so TV was big with westerns and uh, you know then you had uh, uh, Sergio Leone with uh, all of the spaghetti westerns and you had somebody like uh, you know uh, Clint Eastwood coming on the scene with uh, Lee Van Cleef and Eli Wallach um, coming off and doing The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, Fistful of Dollars, Hang Em High, just, uh, you know, so many different movies, you know, and uh, Charles Bronson, you know, you know, uh, just there's, there's so many different cowboys, you know, and cowboy movies and different uh, genres of, of cowboy films and uh Every now and then, you know, and then when the uh, space race came up with uh, astronauts and spaceships, you could sort of sort of look at the, the hierarchy of, uh, you know, when you look at uh, an animated film like uh, Pixar's Toy Story and you have Woody, uh, Woody the uh, cowboy doll uh, toy and uh, you have Buzz Lightyear, you know, and uh, the difference between, you know, when the space race came up and everybody lost the Western and went into uh, space, you know, astronauts and traveling to space and even in television, you know, and stuff like Star Wars and everything else came up. Uh, you know, and here and there we, we do have uh, revitalization of the, the Western uh, coming out. Uh, you, uh, you know, you had the remake of uh, the Magnificent, the original Magnificent Seven, uh, which was... Uh, you know, uh, it came out, was very popular. Eli Wallach played the bad guy. You had Yul Brenner, you had Steve McQueen, just the list went on of famous stars in that, uh, that film. And then, uh, they did the remake with, uh, uh, one of my favorite actors out there, Denzel Washington and, uh, Chris Pratt and, you know, uh, just, just so many different, uh, great actors in that, you know, uh, remakes for that. And then you had the, uh, Kevin Costner coming out and being a part of the Yellowstone, uh, television series that's coming out. I know he's got a big uh, two-part, two-part epic, you know, uh, film coming out. I've always, anytime, uh, you know, I, I think of uh, Kevin Cosner, I, I think of like uh, 
Silverado and just like, you know, being able to, to see him in a Western is always a, an awesome, you know, joy to watch and uh, see him up there and, and see him behind the camera and uh, making cowboy films. You know, I, I know one of my favorites of his was the Dances with Wolves and, uh, you know, just a, just a great film. Um, Zach's telling me uh, he's when he's sketching, he's doing mainly anatomy figures, backgrounds, and thumbnails of comic strip ideas, cool dynamic posing. Uh, he, I guess, uh, Zach likes the good, the bad, the ugly, too. Uh, very cool. That was one of, if you uh, are studying film history, uh, study that uh, last vice sequence between, uh, you know, Angel Eyes, uh, Blondie, and uh, Tuco Ramirez. And that three-way spin that Sergio Leone does, it's always uh, a great film. Uh, also, Zach says, Cowboy is an alien film. Yeah, I watched that. I, 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 I had seen the comic. It was one of those comic, uh, they bought the rights from the comic and then made it into a film with Harrison Ford and Daniel Craig. Uh, good, good film. You know, uh, I, I'd like to see... You know, uh, it's always great to see Harrison Ford as a cowboy. I know he went and did the spinoff from Yellowstone. And, uh, you know, Daniel, Daniel Craig also. Another big one was uh, that I enjoyed was Russell Crowe as a cowboy. And uh, Quick and the Dead with uh, Gene Hackman. You know, also Gene Hackman was the sort of the villain in The Unforgiven with uh, Clint Eastwood's William Penny. So uh, cool, cool, uh, you know. There's so much film history when it comes to the Western and, uh, you know, famous directors like John Ford who, you know, kicking this off. So, you know, there's a lot to learn from and have some fun with the Western. So uh, tonight we're going to be just sort of drawing from there and having some fun. So uh, if you're catching this live, you know, drop your name into the, the chat and let me know that you're hanging out with me tonight. We'll probably have some friends drop in later. It is Saturday night. And then uh, for others, you know, if you're watching this on the replay, uh, appreciate you watching this and spending a little bit of time, a little bit of time with me, hanging out, uh, drawing some cowboy stuff. Cool. So let's uh, drop this down a little bit. I was doing a, a sketch earlier today, and uh, you know, I was drawing this this cowboy here. I probably spent a little too much time on it, but uh, spending some time on it. And uh, I was sort of coming up with the the idea of a gunslinger and uh, ha having fun with this. I sort of had some fun drawing this character. You know, you know, we've got the, the the character there, his horse in the back, got some Tetons in the background, and we we can go to town. But this is sort of a, a simple sketch, just using nothing fancy. It's just you know, a couple you know grayscale tones to it, and. Uh, you know, I use this for the, the cover art of what we were working on uh, for today. So just sort of fun to sketch. I, you know, I just lo I love drawing cowboy stuff, love drawing horses and, you know, cowboys and gun battles and stuff like that. So anytime I get to do that, it, it's a lot of fun and uh, I, I enjoy that myself. So I don't know if you guys like to draw cowboy stuff or, or you're big on westerns, uh, but uh, I enjoy it quite a bit myself so simplify that okay so a um, couple things I have today is I have my page layout here and you can sort of see this um, I call this sort of gun gunslinger for hire and uh, that's right here and I sort of have all the um, my picture frames uh, set up for this uh, so it sort of shows you and usually most of the time I'm working you know eight and a half by eleven in uh, terms of working this so I, I try to show you you friends out there um, different ways that uh, you can board and you can do things uh, and uh, now, usually I work eight and a half by 11 because then I can print these out or use these again uh, in terms of the frames. But we were talking about it before prior about the inf infinite canvas. So if you look at it, you can sort of see, you know, as I zoom out, I have quite a few panels. And if I need to, I can continue 
uh, building this up, adding to it in terms of uh, how I storyboard out or how I'm thumbnailing uh, these ideas. Um, I could also go wider, I can go longer, whichever way is, is sort of working. This is sort of my rough stage. So if I'm doing a uh, storyboard, you know, and I'm doing something like uh, the cowboy here, You know, this is a little bit more complicated in terms of, I wouldn't probably do this as a thumbnail. Um, this is a little bit more complicated uh, drawing uh, and uh, I'll keep it a little bit more simpler so I can get more shots done. Um, I tend to, to work in line art really sketchy and get going and then from the sketchiness, I'll add some, um, some darks on there. So uh, again, when I'm, when I'm working, these are all sort of best practices when drawing your thumbnails. Let me uh, get this over here. Computer's acting a little slow here. Come on. So a couple of tips, you know, when you're storyboarding in your thumbnail, in your thumbnailing. So so on the thumbnails, I'll, I'll work with, uh, I'll keep it simple. slow on this computer tonight. I was having some technical difficulties earlier. So uh, keep uh, keep playing simple. Um, also conserve your lives. Conserve your lines, okay? So these are just some best practice tips. The stuff I do, if it's useful to you, let me know if it is. Um, just on your thumbnails, keep your lines simple. Uh, conserve your lines. Uh, another thing was... Uh, I would say if you if you draw a shot you don't like Don't delete it if you're working digital. Wait for this computer to catch up. Come on. Don't delete it. Might use later. Mm 
Okay. Another another little technique I do is uh, I create a save. Um, and I'll try to do that tonight. Uh, Work with assets, and, and what I mean by that, uh, when you're working with assets, it's sort of like if I'm going to draw a, a face, right? And say I'm going to work with the face. Waiting for my computer to catch up a little bit here. Oops. I'm working with a face. And I took all the time to sit there and draw that face. Boy, this computer is slow. Come on. I'm just saying, if we drew a face here, re reuse that face again, you know what I mean? And so if this is an asset, I usually do this in a lot of my advertising that type work. I'll save all the assets and I'll reuse them again. So if I have this image here and I save that image, you know, in, in a file somewhere, I can, I don't have to draw the whole thing all over again. I can just, you know, draw over it or, you know, get, use that, change up the makeup or hairstyle on it and, and, and do it again, you know. So as I'm looking at it, you know. No, like let's just say her eyes are closed.
I can reuse that pose again. And just change it up. So we're just reusing assets again and again and again. So gives you like a, a quick little idea of uh, how you can work like that. I hope that's a, a cool little tip. Okay, so that's what I mean by work with assets, you know, in terms of uh, what you're doing there. So again, tips, thumbnails, keep your lines simple, conserve your lines, don't get too sketchy when you're, when you're working, you know, try to be uh, uh, to the to the point don't don't be sitting there and you know sketchy too much because all you're doing is unless this is the way you work you know uh, don't get too sketchy on that uh, you know get to the point of what you're trying to do uh, and, and get that done you know use that uh, work with assets it, it gets you quicker too and uh, with uh, you know thumbnails I pretty much just keep it to keep it like I said keep it simple keep it keep it to the line art and then if I'm getting a little bit uh, adding a little bit to it I'll just add my um, my blocks in there too add black shadows And then maybe uh, some um, simple tones. And that's about it, you know, and that, that, that would be pretty pretty much uh, three colors. You would, you, you would do black, you could do white, you know, if you needed to, if it needs to be simple like that, Come on, computer. I got 50% gray. If it wants to work with me. You know, within three tones, that's what I, I, I simply do like that. So when we're looking at something simple as the cowboy. You know, this, that's pretty much medium. You know, I have a few more grays in there, right? but it, it's it's pretty simple with the, the structure that we're doing and uh, having fun with it. So, cool. Again, I hope you're getting some uh, great value out of tonight's uh, lesson and uh, having some fun. We're about ready to get some cowboy uh, drawings uh, going here and having some fun uh, drawing that and uh, getting that going on. And... Uh, Hope you're having a good time and you're drawing with me and I uh, look forward to sort of putting this little sequence together next in terms of uh, what we're doing. Um, this live stream isn't a sponsored live stream, but I wanted to share something new to you. I've had a lot of, uh, you know, uh, YouTube friends out there partner up with me uh, asking, hey, Paul, uh, you know, hey, listen, I need some help. I, I really uh, could use your help even more than just the YouTube channel that you have going on in the live streams. Um, hey, I, I'd like to, to reach out to you uh, to do some one-on-one -on -one mentoring or, hey, listen, do you have any training videos coming out? I'd like to be a part of a workshop, uh, those types of things. So with that said, um, I took the first very first steps this week uh, to get started on that type of content for you folks. Uh, that want to uh, sort of level up and go a little bit quicker uh, than what we're doing here on the YouTube channel. And I was looking for a variety of different ways. A, a lot of artists out there have a Patreon, uh, you know, site uh, and that you can do a, a subscription-based model, uh, you know, a membership, and there's multiple different tiers with that system. Um, I did a lot of research on the, on the business side of the YouTube channel since the channel isn't monetized yet, but uh, we're 
price be there pretty soon uh, for advertising through AdSense uh, to help support the channel and help it grow. I've had people comment on, you know, hey, listen, Paul, can you get a better microphone? Well, hey, listen, we, we need to make some money with this thing uh, so we can get to that point. Uh, but for those of you out there, um, I, I, I went and uh, scoured through all the different types of uh, you know, uh, fashions of memberships to one-on-one -on -one type of consulting and uh, different platforms for that. And I'm happy to announce today that, uh, you know, at this point in time right now, uh, I have selected a, a platform uh, to be able to uh, work with you friends on and uh, being able to uh, give you some uh, greater value in terms of uh, help and uh, get things started in this platform. I, I'm excited to, to try it out and see how it works. And uh, that is going to be uh, Buy Me A Coffee. And uh, looking forward uh, to, to working with you guys with the uh, Buy Me A, a Coffee platform. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, it's gonna be pretty cool. At this point in time right now, uh, all I'm doing right now is accepting donations. So if you are getting great value out of this content and would like to buy me a coffee, I drink a lot of coffee, and uh, when I'm up at late at night, uh, I invite you to check out my Buy Me A Coffee page and uh, it's linked in the description below in this particular live stream and as I go forward uh, and uh, it's pretty simple it's just a, a tip jar right now but also uh, what's cool about buy me a coffee is that I'm able to do uh, tiered memberships I'm able to do one-on-one -on -one trainings and uh, it's a little bit more robust but also what I like about it is that you as a, uh, a patron you know of uh, you know, a follower of mine here on YouTube, and if you're wanting to, to, to donate to buy me a coffee, uh, you know, uh, what's cool about it is that you don't have to sign up for anything. You don't get spammed with emails. I thought it was the, the best selection. It costs a little bit more for me to do, but, uh, you know, I want to make it uh, as lightweight as possible other than you're doing Patreon or Kofi or something like that where you're gonna have to sign up and then you might get email stuff from that particular company. This is pretty, I thought this was pretty turnkey uh, with this company, Buy Me A Coffee, where uh, it's pretty much you just log in and uh, you know you don't even log in, you just go to the site. Uh, you can click on the link in my description of this particular video and if you'd like to support or check it out, um, please do so. Um, the site sort of looks like this. It's pretty cool. This is my main page and sort of the way it works is, you know, it's just uh, I have a little bio here um, and it's pretty much, you know, you, you offer to buy a single coffee and that's it. And you can, you know, some people might just do a single coffee. Others might do five or more coffees, you know, you know, and uh, that, that's up to you. It's, it's sort of a cute idea where it's just tipping a coffee in terms of all the work because I do put a lot of work into these things and I'm happy to do it because I want to be able to uh, you know get out there help teach others and be that mentor for you uh, this platform is exciting too because then I can offer some memberships and uh, you know some one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching uh, from this particular uh, you know platform and uh, pretty exciting there so please uh, do check it out if you're watching this live or you're watching this on uh, the the replay I super appreciate it uh, Zach was asking um, do you like latte cappuccino uh, black <laughs> no it, 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 yeah uh, pretty much what I, I just drink uh, you know black coffee uh, sometimes I use creamer sometimes I don't use creamer in it but it's pretty much just uh, uh, coffee itself and uh, you know I, I love drinking lots of coffee I'm drinking some right now to keep myself awake but uh, just real quick I'm not sponsored by uh, like I said by uh, uh, buy me a coffee but this is a cool little platform and I look forward to getting these features out to you friends out there so if you want to have one-on-one -on -one coaching or you want to have a tier program where you get a little bit more uh, in-depth in the training uh, i'd be uh, happy to do that and uh, looking forward to doing that with you so thanks for listening and uh, if you happen to uh donate 
appreciate you. Uh, every donation helps uh, keep this YouTube channel free for you all and uh, being able to uh, get a little something so I can get some uh, newer equipment too to uh, you know help this uh, YouTube channel thrive. So thanks for li listening for a couple minutes and uh, let's get back into our session here. Cool. So um, with that said, um, let's go ahead and bust out and uh, thanks for checking it out, Zach. Yeah, check it out after the live stream. Very cool. Thank you, sir. Okay, so um, over here, let's get back over here. Let's get our our graphics up. I'm a little slow on this computer tonight, but let's get this guy. Let's get our page elements back up here. So this is Gunslinger for Hire. Um, like I said, I had already put out my uh, picture frames already, and you can sort of see uh, when you're working, uh, I can keep, keep can extending this out uh, to be able to tell my story and uh, have some uh, fun with this. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get some, some drawings in here. Give myself a little space here. And... Uh, And have a little fun here. Gunslinger for hire. Okay. So let's just go ahead. I'm just going to start drawing, and uh, I, I don't have anything sort of pre-planned, but I'm going to just start drawing and uh, see what I come up with of a Western type of thing. Let's go like this. Let's go to shot one. Leave it right there. I don't know how far I'll get tonight, but uh, We'll have some fun with it and sort of show how you can do this stuff. So when I'm working, I'm just sort of having fun here. And... Uh, One of the things I was thinking about was uh, I think every cowboy movie is always good to have a good villain and uh, it's gonna start sketching here and uh, I think a, a good villain is essential somebody that the that the uh, Good villain makes a you know makes a better hero. In terms of uh, to have a good sequence and I uh, don't know how far I'm going to get tonight but uh, we'll just have some fun with this. I'm 
just sort of leaving it sort of sketchy. In terms of what I'm doing here. And sort of what I have the idea on is uh, I'm thinking of a, uh, as I'm drawing, I'm thinking of a, uh, a train. Or the the car of the of the train and the, the bad guys on the the car of the train. I'm not going to establish the the car yet. But What I sort of have going on here is I have the, uh, I have a, some tea, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to uh, think of the tea right now. So, um, let's duplicate this layer. And uh, there, there's two. people having tea. I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. And this is what makes it fun when you're just storyboarding and you're trying to come up with a Cool opening shot. And uh, sort of what I have going on here. Just thinking out loud right now and just like talking in my mind's eyes and coming up with this sequence with you friends and uh, so we have uh, two teas here one with a, a spoon and the other one no spoon in it okay teas there and, and maybe there's some sugar and some other stuff so um, what would be sort of interesting let's uh, merge those two together what I can do Let's duplicate that layer again. Let's use that shot right there. I'm like, Paul, this isn't a Western. Well, it's just uh, having fun where we can go with this. I'm just trying to get creative here, have some fun storyboarding. You can sort of get to see what what is what is in my mind's eyes. I'm drawing this uh, sequence. that 
that there. Let's grab that other shot. Move that there. Duplicate that layer one more time. that coffee really big. So it's going to go like one, two, get sort of the idea because what we're doing is we're like zooming panning out from the coffee in terms of what we're doing and I was thinking that would be sort of cool as in the uh, in the, the, the tea cup itself you saw the um, you saw the west in the teacup so you know like you see, you see the reflection or something of the of the planes or the railroad or whatever it might be in the, in the cup. You can sort of see how quickly, you know, we're using asset reset assets. And then what we can do is simply I know it seems like a lot of deleting here, but we're just
Okay, so you can sort of see there. The coffee showing up there. That there. And a new layer right here. And this is shot one. All I'm thinking right now is just uh, some cactus or whatever. All I'm doing is making this up like this is inside the coffee cup and just getting that sort of idea with that. A little bit thicker in there. So do it like that. This is sort of the west or whatever. This would be shot one. Um, this, um, like, we're going to name it establishing shot just by ES. Old West. Okay. Keep uh, we're going to keep it pulling back, continue pulling back.
shot two. I'm not even thinking of this. Uh, playing back. Show the coffee. And the rim of the cup. Continue playing back with these arrows. Coffee cup and the, the spoon is is uh, is moving around. Maybe we'll do that by showing that the uh, the spoon is stirring uh, through the sequence. It was. Uh, Shot two. So got one, two, three. This would be shot four. And we're still doing that where we're pulling back. Okay, now we expose two two cups of coffee, and then uh, with this particular shot, three, four. And 
The spoon is still stirring. And I can just simply just go. And there, because we want to show that the spoon stirring. So we want to start showing the hand in that shot. Pour. We're still pulling back. With stir. This is where we're talking about asset reuse. We're using the same thing. We're not changing it up. We're trying to tell this very quickly and uh, get this done. And then uh, now we have our final shot here. Increase this just a little bit there. We have the uh, candle here. With the light. And we have the shot here, this will be fine. I'm just sort of looking at this and going hand stirs. Just say hand continues to stir. Okay. 
Come on, computer, catch up with me, buddy. Okay, and then the last shot here. So we shot five. And I'm going to do it one more time because I want that bad guy to tap the, the, the spoon on the... Ever so delicately. And so what we do. So we want to show us that spoon. The finger, have a little finger up. Tink, tink. So all we're doing is showing this here. Six. I'm just sort of going so right now we got this sort of sequence here where we see um, an establishing shot of the old west we're pulling back out and it's actually just a reflection inside the, the coffee and we see the rim of the cup we see a number three we see a, uh, the, the spoon stirring the coffee as we're going through it 
number four, we're, we're looking at uh, two coffees now, so we know there's two people in the room, and we're storytelling that way while the spoon is still stirring in that mechanism in the cup and we're planning out now we see the light we're in a room of some sort we see that there's two cups of coffee the, the we're, we're giving a lot of description going on in terms of the, the beats going on with this and the coffee is stirring in the in the, in the uh, cup and then the, the hand comes out of the uh the cup as it's stirring and does the old yeah. does the old little tap really delicately and very lightly so um, we're sort of establishing the villain very uh, delicate very uh, animated very um, of class and wealth uh, as we uh, are looking into this particular shot cool let's throw a quick little save on there So we're thinking a lot with this sequence, and I hope this is uh, you're having fun with this one. Uh, we're doing a lot of storytelling just with these basic shots, and you know, with you know, saving our assets, keeping it sort of line work. We're not trying to do a bunch of tone and color and anything. We're just trying to tell the story. And uh, as the camera is, um, you know, uh, panning out uh, from that. Uh, from that initial shot of uh, the reflection of the old west uh, landscape inside the coffee cup as we uh move out slowly you know and we show the villain slowly you know you know in inside that coffee cup you know and stirring and you know with a light tap on it super cool makes them very villainous in terms of what, what we're doing here so if you're enjoying this live stream right now and, and you're having fun with it and you're drawing along with me right now uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and then also to don't forget to like and uh, drop a comment in this particular video uh, tell me you're enjoying it and uh, even if it's just a happy face emoji appreciate anything to help tell that YouTube algorithm hey we want to see more of Polly's content Okay, let's continue on going, but before I do, just uh, make sure we're rocking and rolling here. Come on, go on to the next. Let's go back into Photoshop. Cool. Then we're back in here. Let's make sure we get all these shots named down. Six. Okay. Okay, let's go in here. Shot seven going on here. Okay. 
Ronnie just dropped in. Hey, Ronnie, how's it going? Ronnie says, hey, Paul, couldn't join earlier because I was out doing something. I can't stay long, uh, but can for a few. I hope everything's going well. Evening's going well, Ronnie. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate seeing you. So let's go ahead and uh, sort of sketch out this character real quick. And maybe during this sequence, uh, we have the uh, actors talking. A little western haircut here. of a guy sitting in a chair if he's having tea. Oops.
Okay, I have him here in that chair. Let's see how we're going to introduce him into the shot. So Ronnie, I uh, hope your evening's going well. Hey, it's going great. Everything's going uh, well. And then uh, Wolf Midnight, hey Paul. Haven't been able to see the live videos, but I've been uh, doing a lot of replays. I'm building a portfolio for storyboarding. Thanks for all the um, help uh, you have done with your videos. Yeah, no problem, happy to help out. Hope you guys are learning a lot. Congratulations on working on your portfolio, that's cool. Okay, so we have this gentleman here, and I have the, the bad guy. This is the guy that's going to, something's going to happen <laughs> with this guy. We have the, the coffee shot here. Okay, I'm just trying to see where we can go with this. Let me see here. Another shot in there. Yeah, sort of show the villain next. I want him to be disguised a little bit. So who played a good uh, vil villain? Henry Fonda, that's who I was thinking of.
This is what's great about working digital is you can work this shot. Every way you want. Duplicate that shot. Because he was just looking at the, the T. So instead of it looking like that. This shot too. See, it's in the shadow. Look forward to seeing some of your work, uh, Wolf Midnight. Okay, so he's over there. He's stirring the uh, the pot. This would be That guy's looking at coffee. Maya looks up. This will use the blue. Get 
Come on. So we're showing the movement of the frame. Back and looks up. Looks up in a train car. Do the same type of thing. So Get him to look up. And then before we do this shot, we got to hand over the coffee. So we're going to move that over there. Shot ten.
sort of thinking how long he's going to hand them over the Through the train itself. Just thinking out loud right now. I'm going to do something like this, where what we can do is go backwards a few times. Move that over here. Duplicate that layer. can do is just move this back.
at the coffee cup. That's a medium shot. The medium shot of the bad guy. Oops. Ten. I got him's coffee. All we can do is do one more shot. So we shot twelve. And this guy is off camera. Sort of move the camera here. Okay. Uh, 
All we have is we have the hands. Come on, come on. Come on. Cool. Take a. I've done quite a bit here and doing some pretty. Decent boarding. I haven't got even into the train of the horses yet. Oh, I mean, I've been running here for a while. This is looking pretty good. This is a quick rough. We know that this guy here, the darker coat, we're going to shade him in a little bit because we know it's the darker coat. Duplicate that layer. Down here. What I sort of had him is like that where he's looking at the cup and then he goes and drinks the cup
what we can do is just simply just go like this. Add a new layer. This computer is so slow. Thirteen. Okay, I think that's a good, we've done quite a few shots here, um, 
Zach says, uh, talking about portfolios, would you be able to do a session about what to put in a portfolio, number of pages, shots, themes, and things uh, to leave out? Yeah, definitely. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, storyboard sequence. Boy, it took a while to, to get in here. Put a lot of thinking and shots. So we start off our sequence here with the uh, the Old West, uh, you know, the, the Tetons. You know, it's actually a reflection in the coffee coffee cup we pull out there's a, uh, a spoon circling around in the coffee cup we go to display that they, there's a hand still stirring and then there's two coffee cups so we know that there's two people uh, going to be drinking together uh, we pan out we, we we pull back a little bit more we see the hand you know still stirring you know shot six we see tap tap you know that uh, we're tapping on uh, the cup itself and uh, very delicately telling some story. Maybe there's a, you know, a voiceover, you know, of the, of the bad guy talking to the other gentleman here in the chair. Bad guy is looking at the coffee, his eyes raised to look at the other passenger as he's stirring. You get a medium shot, bad guy's there, picks up the coffee cup, hands it across to the other gentleman. The other gentleman puts his hand out to get it. Uh, the gentleman looks at the coffee and then drinks the coffee. Okay. So I hope that was uh, helpful. We got in there. We didn't get very far in this, but we got sort of a cool little dramatic sequence. Ended up not doing a shootout, but a dramatic sequence here. And, uh, you know, lots of fun here to, to have some fun and uh, get going again if you enjoyed uh, this particular live stream uh, I would say please subscribe uh, by your subscribing helps this channel grow and uh, get this channel out to other people so make sure you drop a like and a comment on this particular video look I look forward to continuing on this sequence and uh, you know because my sort of idea with this was to um, have the villain Establish with uh, uh, the wealthy man on the train and uh, sort of as you pull out then he uh, is going to and unfortunately he's going to poison the the, uh, the wealthy guy to rob the train and uh, get off the train and that's where our hero comes uh, on horseback and uh, to uh, uh, bring this man to justice the bad guy so that's sort of where I was going with it uh, I got, got quite a few more uh, shots to put together and have some fun with it. But uh, again, uh, hope you learned a lot uh, today and sort of uh, how, how to thumbnail on it and uh, working with uh, Westerns here. Let's go ahead and uh, turn these all off now. Again, I hope you had some fun with this today. I didn't get to get into my cowboy yet, but looking forward to it. Uh, and again, if you uh, did uh, enjoy everything and, and sort of uh, what we were watching today, uh, I invite you to uh, come visit my uh, Buy Me a Coffee page. Uh, the link is in the description. And uh, I, I'd appreciate it if you could... Uh, you know, uh, leave a tip uh, for the live stream and uh, check it out whenever you get a chance. This is what the page looks like and you can uh, donate a cup of coffee. I'd appreciate it. It helps me keep this channel up and running for, uh, you know, as long as we can. And uh, it helps me get some better equipment so we can uh, give you some better content. And also this platform is going to be fantastic. Uh, I look forward to it because it's not going to... Uh, have you sign up for anything you can just make a simple donation like that it also is going to open up the opportunity to do uh, more uh, membership based uh, 
you know, uh, type of items here on the YouTube channel, and as well as one-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh, you know, uh, workshops and things like that. So uh, looking forward to that. If you can donate, that'd be fantastic to help support the channel. You're not only helping to uh, support the channel, but make this free for other like-minded visual storytellers like yourself. So please consider, appreciate you. And uh, over here, so again, I hope everybody had a great night tonight. We had some fun putting this uh, this villainy uh, sort of sequence together. Uh, we'll have to do continue working on this one because I want to see the cowboys and some gunslinging action. I ended up doing a, a sort of a dramatic scene tonight. But anyways, had some fun with it. I hope you did too. And uh, again, consider subscribing. Don't f forget to hit that bell notification button to be notified when we live stream next. I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and I will see you on the next live stream. Till then, take care, have a great weekend, and a great evening.